What's up guys, Cass here from Giveaway Studios and on this one I'm going to show you guys how to turn the materials that you see here into these face shields. And basically what I'm going to do is just show you guys how to make it. So the PDF file for the visor, please don't mind my printer, it's, it's uh, going through some things right now. You can print it out and then you cut out your shape. All right, and now with your shape cut out, you can use a hole punch. The single standard size ones probably work best for this. I can't find mine, which is why I have this leather hole punch. So I'm just gonna go ahead and punch out all of the holes. And once you have all of the holes punched out in your paper pattern, go ahead and grab your 3D printed piece. And we're just gonna slide one piece in just gonna place them on the nubs as they fit and then on this last one you're gonna push the 3d print out so that it can slide in and if you're if your paper is starting to tear then you know that you need to put the hole a little further back right which is what's happening to me right now the paper is doing a little tearing so then go back in adjust the positioning of my hole that way when I do it on the actual plastic I don't have any issues with it so do test out your dimensions with your paper first before um, you use your template on your actual plastic sheet okay that's nice and then also test out the uh, this bottom piece here now with this you can do it one of two ways you can try to slide it in at at the very top here uh, sometimes that's a little hard to line up so if that happens you can just start from one end slide it over and then turn it over and then just try to align the holes into the little tabs this will be a lot easier once we use the plastic the paper tends to uh, fold and crumble a little bit but as long as you can visually tell that your holes are aligned um, you should be good with that one Okay, so with that said, I'm just going to go ahead and transfer my pattern over to this acetate sheet. So this is something that you guys can grab at your local supply store. And I'll have links in the description for where you can buy this type of stuff. Okay, I'm just going to place my piece down on the transparent sheet. You can grab a pen or a pencil or uh, anything that can leave a mark. And the first thing I would do is start with the holes. And if your pen is not writing on your plastic, just press hard enough that it leaves a mark that you can see. That way, when you're ready to cut it out, um, you have some sort of indication of where it is that you need to make your cuts. Not sure if you guys can tell but my marks actually did show up with the pen so that works out so now we're just gonna do the same thing that we did with the paper cut out all of our pieces and then install okay with our final material cut I'm just gonna go ahead and install onto our 3d printed part okay. I'm just kind of push the 3d print out a little bit Make sure that it fit in, and then it should be a nice tight fit on your part. Again, same thing as before. You go ahead and just kind of slide this towards the edge, and then push down so that we get our pieces in place. Okay. And this piece um, does actually serve a purpose because it does prevent the mask from blowing backwards on someone. So it keeps it uh, taut there in the center. So it gives it a lot of rigidity uh, towards the front there. So as you can see, just shaking it back and forth, it's not going anywhere. Uh, if I were to do that with this one with it off, you can hear it. This one, you barely hear it. Okay. So it has that flex there whereas this one not so much so don't use any vinyl because that tends to be a little too floppy and it's definitely not as clear as the acetate 
um, or the polyester film. And you can even use uh, Pet G. Uh, there are Pet G sheets. Just as clear as the others. Um, it's a lot more durable as well. So now let's just go on to how to strap it. Um, strapping wise, everyone's head and measurements are gonna be different. So a little technique that I found is that if you measure from the top of your ear, the front most part, the top of your ear, kind of around the back of the crown of your head. So see how the head usually curves up here. So you wanna go from the top of that ear over the widest part of the back of your head back to the other top of the ear, okay? Grab that measurement, then you can cut that out, okay? Once you have that cut out, you're gonna grab your pinky and go under, almost like I'm tying a shoelace, right? So, and just knot that right there, okay? So you should end up with a little hole, it's about a half inch wide. So you're just gonna go ahead and slide that in and pull back and it should be taut and tight and then in place so i'm going to do the same thing for the other side slide on one end to the other and now we should have an elastic that's fitted to our dimensions and this is what it looks like on as you can see the mobility lots of clearance and it looks very nice. I can see right through this even with my glasses, which is great. And that's it for this one, guys. The uh, PDF for the visor, as I mentioned, is in the links in the description. You can also laser cut the acetates if you have access to a laser cutter. All right, uh, that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Hope this one was useful. This has been Cast from Giveaway Studios. Stay safe out there, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Cheers.